Well, this is what the device looks like. And uh, it's got two controls on there. You have the top one, which is, it goes from seconds to minutes, five seconds to 30 minutes. That's the on time. And the bottom one is the off time. It goes from five seconds to 60 minutes. And you have a nice dial you can rotate with a, uh, with a white line to get an approximate time. The output LED comes on when this thing supplies the switched 15 amp uh, power, run up to one horsepower motor. You notice there's a light sensor right there. That's to determine daylight versus night. And we're gonna test that function. Now, it's very important that you read the instruction sheet. It was a little bit confusing to me at first. There's ways to make this thing uh, pulse on and off for 24 hours, day and night, where it'll ignore the light sensor. And then when you turn the page, you have another sheet right here, which tells you how to do it for just day only control and night only control. Now at first I thought these were the same words, but they're not. It tells you how to specifically do it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make a 24 hour control. And when you plug this thing in, the first thing you do is you set both values to minimum. So I have them counterclockwise, set to minimum. Then you plug in the device, then you set both values to maximum within five seconds. And that's how you get it to be 24 hour mode. So let's give that a try here. I'm going to hook this up to a red bulb so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to plug the bulb into the outlet right here, like that. And I've got 120 volts right here I'm going to uh, utilize. Now, as it said in the manual, it said set both values to minimal, then you plug it in, then you set both values to high. So I have them both to minimal, so I'm going to plug the device in. Then turn them both to high. And now you can see the light came on. Now let's set it to the quickest setting right here, which will allow us to see what's going on faster. So you can see it's, it's uh, turning on for five seconds and shutting off for five seconds. It's an equal duty cycle. Now, right now this sensor is picking up the studio lights, so it's acting like day here. Now, if I cover this sensor up like this, let's see if it recognizes that it should still work, and there it goes. So now it's in 24-hour mode, so it doesn't matter whether it's in the day or whether it's in the night. Now, the next mode we wanna try According to the instruction booklet here, sheet, let's see if we can get it to operate just in the day only mode. So here it says set both values to maximum. Then after you plug it in, then you turn them to minimum. So let's unplug this. So it says set both values to maximum. Then after you plug it in, set it to minimum. So we're gonna plug it in, then we're gonna turn it to minimum. Now let's see what we get here. So now the light's going through its cycle. So this should be day only control. So right now it's acting like day because of the studio lights. Okay, now we're gonna try to set it to the night only control. You have to read these words very carefully because you were, you were following the directions to have the position of these, the order of these changed accordingly. So to get to night only control, you start off with both values to maximum, which I did clockwise, and then you set bottom value to minimal, followed by top value to minimal. So you have to do this one first, and then this one. So the order is important. So let's give that a try right here. Let's plug it in. 
So bottom one to minimal, then top one to minimal within five seconds. Now this, if it's working correctly, this should be night only control. So the first thing you notice is the bulb isn't coming on because it's night only control. So if I block the light sensor, which simulates nighttime, then it comes on and is following the selection I have, which is five seconds on, five seconds off. So again, if it becomes day, I have it in the night only mode. So then it's going to stop functioning because of that setting. Once it, it'll catch up, they're caught up and then it went to night only mode. So this uh, is a way of controlling this thing for the three modes. Just have to be careful you read the directions properly and follow them really closely. So what, I'm, what are my overall impressions of this uh, controller? I think this is a great product. There are a lot of times I've had to have fans come on, lights, pumps, and I had to come up with a way to do that with my own circuit. This is a great way to control things, up to 15 amps AC, one horsepower motor. The indicator is very nice on here. The sensor works great. Um, I really like this product. The only thing about the product is you have to carefully read that manual because it'll get a little confusing to get those three modes of operation using these uh, turn knobs right here and sequencing it properly based on the instructions. So make sure you keep that instruction sheet with this product because you're going to need it because you're not going to be able to memorize those controls. So I really like this product and I'm going to give this a full five star rating on my review channel. And I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thanks for watching.